down on your knees. <laughs> Fuck him up! <laughs> we got go! Hello, Yamar. Hello. Nice to meet you. Thank you so much for your time. A pleasure to talk to you and to talk sure. about Sisu, <laughs> uh, which I, I thought I was like, is a rumble that met, um, let's say, The Revenant and meets a Western movie. It's crazy, <laughs> but I love it. <laughs> Thank you so much. So, Thank you. Yeah, let's start from the beginning. Like, what was the inspiration for, for the script? Well, First Blood is one of the biggest like influences of to me like to do to be even a filmmaker it, it, when i was a kid it, it started the whole process or if not started it definitely made it stronger uh, but it, it it's a I, i love stories of of a guy you you shouldn't fuck with in a way and that you re represent a uh, a main character that you don't know yet and you are not basically telling anything about him you just have to wait and see what he's capable of and then and then the story starts from there and, and um, well it's a big dream come true to me to to have this movie yeah that that's great and and i hope i'm saying his name correctly at atami kopir korpi and mm. what was about him that made you pick him to play the main character Uh, well, Yorma is. I, I know Yorma very well, and, and I've been speculating in, in the other interviews now, like uh, because I never had anyone else in my mind to play this guy. But if I wouldn't have Yorma, like, what would be the casting process of? Uh, because it would be very, very hard. Uh, how can you trust that somebody could? pull that off, uh, having no dialogue, facing extremely wild conditions and, and uh, surviving it all every day. And, 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 and uh, because he's telling the story with his face and his body and his eyes, it's not something that is like you could do with anyone. Yeah, you don't find that every day. So he's, I think he's amazing. Deliver like what everything that the character goes through. I love that. I also love the dog. The in the end, I was like, oh, the dog drove the the motorcycle, ride the motorcycle, <laughs> mm. <laughs> bring it back to him. I love that too. <laughs> that a little, that was a funny moment, but uh, that in my mind. But I love that too. Also, like the the challenges uh, for filming. And I noticed that you have you have all, all these explosions, all this stunt work. How was that? Like bring that, you know, making that happen? Because I bet I think it was a little crazy, right? <laughs> well, it was crazy and it was slow. Uh, making the whole uh, like like the kill them all chapter was really really slow process because you have everything is on the move. Constantly, you have a lot of cars, a lot of, a lot of uh, people, a lot of everything, and and uh, and still you have to do some really difficult stunts and stuff like that, and and, and to film that all with a moving camera, and uh, it, it was a huge challenge, but it, it was really great time of doing that. And how many days did you did you spend shooting? It was something like 34 or something like that. Yeah, even though like it's a lot of days for, if you think about it, like, mm. wow, wow, and a, a lot of explosions. <laughs> I love that. I love that. And and, and the, the, the girls that call me, uh, I wasn't expecting to have like uh, actresses in the movie when I, when I saw the, the The poster, I was like, oh, maybe it's just a star of him. And when I saw that, and then you brought those actors, and I think they they represent a lot of like the strong, like the strong females. And then I love that too. Why did you decide to to bring them to to the story? Well, it's a good 
thing to have like a uh, <clears throat> the first thing was to have like more reason to hate the Nazis basically at how badly they treat the women and I also wanted to have like an extra uh, like a crew for Artami to help him to uh, and, and have their own revenge to have more people fighting in the third act and and, and it's been great to see how the audience reacts when the women women finally get their revenge also. Uh, it was so, I think it, it, it's um, a lot of fun. Yes, yes. I, I When I saw them, I was like, oh my God, they're gonna, they, I, I think they're gonna help him. And then I loved it. I thought that it was, that was a really great touch. And then uh, another thing is the, the 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 movie release it was premiered at the Toronto Film Festival and got a lot of like good reviews. How did you feel back then when they because people are gonna see the the movie for the first time and then get great reviews? How do you feel? Uh, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> I know it's really uh, it's really amazing, really, right? Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's really amazing. And also, do do you have like a favorite moment of the movie, or you like? Because sometimes you have like some certain scene, a certain moment that you love the most. Basically, no, but but the moment when Artemy finds the gold vein is something that really struck me when we were shooting it. Was the second day of shooting, and and when I saw how Yorma Yorma. Um, acted and reacted for for the situation i knew that we are doing we are doing something really cool now and uh that was like somehow it it's uh it still is in my mind how i felt when i saw it yeah yeah there's a and the 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 scene of the airplane i thought it was like it's crazy uh, but i really i really are how was like editing that because you know what I mean? And then all this movement, the, the camera movement and everything. How was like editing that specific scene? Well, basically the editing, because we had like something like six months of editing this. And uh, at first it, it felt like it's like a hell of a lot of time to do this because it's such a straightforward story. Uh, but in the end, it, it really wasn't. Like I could still go back to edit something, <laughs> like, uh, because when you when you have that straightforward story, you all kinds of things affect a lot. Uh, so, but creating the plane sequence itself that was really really hard work because of course we didn't have uh, the finalized pictures in. In the edit in the beginning so we just have to use like storyboards and, and animatics and everything like that so uh, but it's it's great how it came together in the end amazing ja jamar i just want to thank you so much for your time a pleasure to meet you a lot of success and i hope everybody liked the movie thank you so much thank you bye 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 hey. rich boys Get down on your knees. <laughs> Fuck him up! <laughs> we got <gotta> gold! <laughs> 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 was a Finnish commander, he lost his home and his family in the war. He became a one-man death squad. Ah! He's one mean motherfucker that you do not want to mess with. Fire! You'll see what happens when you take everything from him. believe that he's immortal. No, he just refuses to die. How many minds did we bury here? All of them. You and you. This is 
is not about who is the strongest. This is about not giving up. We have a word for that in Finland. We might have a problem. If you like this video, don't forget to comment, to like and subscribe to our channel right here.